Yeah. If I was fucking young girls, I'd probably be arrested. 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 Bro. No one can escape through your past. Oh, my Dead. God. <laughs> looking at man, who's this little shit? Move, bro. You know who this is. <laughs> Move, maggot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she kills someone with a sword. Here it goes, tables again with something against the kids. Yeah, hater. The sins we've committed and the sadness we've caused. Oh yeah, I forgot. This brain texture. Damn, he swung that sword like a slave master. Killed her ass. Right in front of her, too. Like, look at all that blood. This literally looked just like that when I got my foot stabbed. I was in the middle so of the gym, blood. just sitting in that. No matter how far we run, as ever present as the moon in the sky. Is this like the beginning of an anime arc? Is this what? why we're seeing all this? I know we need to get this corny ass on and get this back in the room. This is the Punished Apollo arc. Looking at his wrist like it's been useful this whole game. <laughs> it looms in wake for the day when we are forced to face it. So they still haven't fixed this courtroom? Nah. How long do you think it takes you to fix it? For that? But yeah. only in doing so can we truly make peace and move on and hope towards tomorrow. And medius res, as they say, hey. Mm. Shit. Yeah, that was, was a flight ass like question, I'm not gonna lie. December 20th, 1.23 p.m. Is this the day we got our superpowers, or was it the 21st? The 21st. Wait, which I one? thought it was 20. The 21st. It was 21st. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the 21st. No, the 21st, yep. Yeah. 21st. They took Athena from the courtroom straight to the station. <laughs> straight to hell. She's probably being questioned at this very moment. Where are you in the December? Damn, both of them gone. She's about to sell them. He ain't got no kids no more, except for the actual kids. It wouldn't be an gain if uh, we didn't just lock a woman up just because. <sighs> after yeah, this past just, year, yeah, just because. I, I took <laughs> it for granted that these that those two would always be there. I mean, this street's no she ain't doing nothing. She's a little bitch. Exactly. But now, Apollo has gone off on his own to seek his own truth. Neil is a criminal. He's gone off to do his own research. And my pursuit of the truth only ended up with Athena becoming the new suspect. Some boss I turned out to be. It's okay, you have a daughter. Yeah. Hi, Trucy. Hi, oh, hi. God, Finally, <laughs> Trucy gets the step up. It's even quieter in here than usual. Yeah, it seems so empty, too. I just don't get it, Daddy. All your reasoning during the trial seemed perfectly solid. Yeah, and I still believe it was, at least based on what we know. But now, Athena is the one who's being accused. During the trial for the bombing and murder that occurred at the Cosmo Space Center. The lighter used by the real culprit was found. This lighter proved the defendant saw him in Starbuck innocent. But Athena's prints were found on it instead. And she was subsequently arrested for the murder. For the moiter. See, this is why I don't give niggas lighters. Yeah. Nigga, actually, hey, you got a lighter? Nah, bro. But Athena could have done only. it. It just doesn't make any lighter. sense. No, none of it does. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't figure it out. Ugh. Why is the flaw? What is? Where is the flaw in my reasoning? What have I got wrong in this case? You know, Daddy. If Athena was here, she wouldn't just be sitting around thinking. She would be out there doing something. Yeah, I am look at where she's at. You are going to offend Athena, right, Daddy? Of course I will. And thanks, Trucy. I needed that push. 
Patricia's right, the trolley is tomorrow. There's no time to waste. If I'm gonna prove Athena's innocence, oh shit, I'd better get out there and find some evidence. <laughs> Off we, we go only... then. Oh. We're on a hunt for evidence that'll prove Athena innocent. <laughs> we? <laughs> Great, so before yeah, we go. Fresh, oh. fresh, the fresh prince. Better tidy up the evidence in my hand. Athena's probably still in the middle of it being questioned. So true, she's right. The thing to start with is talking to people at the space center. So oh, first, let's go get some assistance. Did we get to see Aura again? Aura. I, I still can't believe Apollo really left us. It was so sudden. I don't have a guinea pig to test my match tricks on anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe about he got, maybe he got tired That's of exactly it? what she said. It's exactly. I can't, what... new, I can't find a new person who will do it. I don't think it's your fault, Trucy. And I made him go bring in the newspaper. I'm gonna shoot myself if I do that. And clean in the toilet. It was my fault. I just know it. Oh, Apollo. <laughs> I'm sorry for underpaying you. Please come back. Wouldn't think it's my fault if I told my dog to get the newspaper and it got ran by a car. It'd definitely be the nigga who did it. But, <laughs> but I didn't realize Apollo was wearing so many hats around here either. Can Tut even fetch newspapers? Nah, he's he's barking right now. He's mad as fuck if you just said that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he can do whatever he pleases. I was gonna say, be a fake. Be, are you a fake ass dog? If you can't Making fetch him newspapers. clean the toilet, like you can say no, Apollo. Like no means no. We no. can't. She probably huh? has the money in this shit. From what? Yo. So never mind. No, I was gonna, I was gonna make that up. She got OnlyFans. Make that deeper than it is. Ain't that, um... <laughs> Galactic scooter, full speed ahead. Why aren't you in hell? Wasn't he the one that Man, was? Oh, Nigga, literally round. Rector, he scooted away. Mm -hmm. I uh, contempt of court and uh, prejury. His expression changed the instant he saw you, Daffy. Yeah, well, I dragged his ass through the mud pretty good at the trial earlier. <laughs> Today, yeah, it wasn't even that long ago. We were here only yesterday. Oh, hey. Hey. Damn, right back to work? Damn, I killed myself. Mr. Starbuck, <laughs> you've been released, he huh? Wants, he wants to work here. Yup, and I came straight here. This is all thanks to you and your team, Mr. Wright. You're giving me a second chance to fly into space again. Can't thank you enough. <laughs> I said, son, that's life. These bills got no silver spoon. Except... Oh. <laughs> None of what Fates just said. What was wrong? I thought he'd be happy to be acquitted. As I was coming out of the detention center, I saw Miss Sykes. Oh, uh, you saw Athena? I was at a loss for words. I didn't know what to say to the poor girl. <laughs> And then, you know what? She flashed a peace sign at me. Congratulations on your acquittal, she said. Now I can go back into space someday. There was some salt behind that. There was some salt behind it. Yeah, sounds like Athena. I can just picture it. But I saw her eyes. They were red and swollen from crying. She's gotta be suffering. She must be so worried. But yeah, she went out her way to be nice and give you that big smile. She held back her own tears so she could give someone else a smile. That's I guess, so Athena. That's, That's so, so weird. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Future I can nigga, I guess. <laughs> There's no question about it. <laughs> that girl is innocent. Please, Mr. Wright. Gotta make sure she goes free. And then, they can put me in prison instead. I don't mind. Could think he a mime. We can't have that either, Mr. Starbuck. Don't, don't worry. worry. <laughs> don't worry, cause I'm going to give her the very best defense I can. Did you say cook? Yes. Huh? No. Me? Star, Star, Star cook. cook. 
Start cut. No, I didn't. Oh, I don't know what you said, but. Well, that's what I'm calling him from now on. I mean, that's just. I tried saying his name. I, I, I don't know. I promise to get her acquitted, just like I did for you. I know she'd be alright with you in her corner. I know you'll never give up on her. No pressure. Apollo has a fine boss to look up to. Yep. Yeah, man. If he's yeah, still. <laughs> I still can't believe Launchpad Juan was switched with the with the Spice Museum. <laughs> Which homie Juan? What could have made Director Cosmos do such a thing? I had the foggiest idea. <sighs> Missed this so much. So there was never a bunch of a launch that day. Not from the very beginning. I wonder if Clay knew. I imagine he must have. Surely he wouldn't notice when you went to the board rocket. Went to board the rocket. It's pathetic to think I was the only one who got taken in. <laughs> but I guess that's about how it goes. You're worth less than space debris. <laughs> That's still a good price, right? Is he Never mind. going to be all right, Daddy? That's just how he is. His expression looks as dark as a black hole. Well, that's just how he is. Now nah, he's just black. Anyway. Sorry, but do you remember anything about the murder? Oh, not really. I only saw a shadowy figure in the dark after all. Yeah, I guess that was a little too much to hope for. Yeah, he was knocked out, remember? Hi. I heard something from the police, though. <laughs> they say they never did find a 10 caliber gun out of that trash ship. It is as I thought, the cover must have carried it away with them when they escaped. So, was the person you saw holding a gun, Mr. Starbuck? Uh, I couldn't really tell. But it wasn't Athena, right? Could you tell if the person was male or female? Tall or short? Come on, man. Huh. I can't even tell you yeah. that, Spot. Hot, useless. When the carpet opened the door and some light came in. I should have been able to say. The door. Ah, uh, yes. As I recall, they opened this door here as they made their escape. The door to launch pad one, right? Yeah, except right now the door leads to the space museum. You mean the launch pad and the space museum are switched right now? Yeah. They're trying to investigate the theory you came up with in court. Tight. So they react they're recreating the conditions, huh? I just see what's beyond that door now. Mr. Starbuck, could you open this door for us, please? Pretty please. Oh, Thank sure. you. Just let me have my print scan here. <laughs> Do the launch pads get switched back and forth a lot? Oh well. Back when the museum was launch pad too. <laughs> they used to switch the pads around at times. No, yeah, that's un unhygienic. But these days, Launchpad 2 is only used as a tourist attraction, right? Right. Because, uh, quite frankly, the uh, Space Center needs the money. I hear you. Times sure are tough. <laughs> Damn. Hey, let's go check <laughs> right what's Right said, I'll haul it for a dollar. Don't you ever forget. <laughs> sure, let's go. Hey, why don't I come along? <laughs> Show you around. I think I've got something better to do, he says. 
You couldn't uh, inherit some cash from uh, the Fey estate or something? Exactly. Nigga, he's not in the will. <laughs> Damn, they really said fuck that, nigga. Um, it seems like Naruto did some uh, Rasengan training on the left right there. Yeah. Huh. I wonder what these dead leaves are doing here. He's training his chakra nature. Maybe they were stuck to the bottom of someone's shoes. There are lots of trees around the space center. Yeah. She's right. It's a modern state-of-the-art building, but it's surrounded by trees. Uh, I don't know. They are stuck to the bottom of somebody's shoes? <clears throat> when they look more crushed up, these don't look like they've been stepped on. Like, at all. Maybe there's some kind of secret hatch in the corridor, and they came in that way? Not everything is set up like a magi like a magician stage, you know. God, she's washed. She needs to get back in the field. <laughs> um, well, shit. Get back in the field? Someone with the uh, last name Faye. The scanner? The, the hand shit? The hand print? The hand among us? So, this is another one of those devices for opening the door, huh? Y'all, this one doesn't require fingerprint verification. You just hit the button and open sesame. So when you and Clay went through here, you didn't need to show your prints either? That's right, Trucy. Just like how the culprit didn't need to scan their prints. When they escape back out of the Space Museum corridor and boarding Cloud 2. The biometric door lock. Print authentication isn't required from the launch pad side. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Well, I don't see anything else that jumps out at me. And I imagine this corridor is built exactly like the launch pad 1 corridor. Who sullied my good name? There Reverse course and spool full speed away. That is Let's better. See. Go up. Director Cosmos, wait! That nigga jetted. Man, smoked my shit. I'll handle this, daddy. Take that! Ah! Oh, my mobility system has been compromised! Juicy's knife throw was a direct hit to one of his tires. Could she be charged for, like, possible assault? Like, and the brother. streak continues. You can get your okay, ass in Nakamoto days. I see you <laughs> Hold on, maybe she's not washed Instagram after all. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should have kept a closer watch on what trick she's been practicing. Yeah, she's got that bomb trick coming up next. My yeah, next is only old battleship. All right, we, we fought many a skirmish together. It has been an honor. You gotta wonder when he's gonna drop the bit. Daddy, he's going to blow up that thing! Run! Nah, I bet all that button will do is make it go haywire again. Read like a book. Very well. I surrender. As a prisoner of war, I expect to be treated honorably. <laughs> Nigga? You got a lot to learn. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, man? You got a ways to go. Uh, Director Cosmos, when were you when were you uh, talking in court about switching the launch pads? When you yep, you used your right to remain silent about the reason as to why. We actually follow the laws. I like to I like to direct the laws. Uh, why he switched the launch pads to be a wood? Please, I can't. I exercised my right to remain silent, but I will say, my hands were tied. I was only doing what I could to keep my men from getting caught in that blast. <clears throat> Don't say it on Juneteenth. <laughs> the center of the cosmos is shrouded in mystery, but I don't have any secrets left. Now my battleship has been destroyed. 
I've been taken prisoner. Yeah. Sure, taken prisoner, all right. No secrets left, huh? I beg to differ. <laughs> Curse tool, Magatama. Looks like I have to undo his psych locks if I want to get to the bottom of these. Yeah, you, did y'all miss these? These are back. Take that! I mean, when we talked to the other dude, I was, like, not surprised. Full, full bitch. Winter, tell me everything you're hiding about the switching of the two launch pads, you punk-ass bitch nigga. You are hiding a child. I refuse. <laughs> you couldn't make me. I can hold on it's longer just, than anyone. It's just Drake with like nine black side <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my they god. They have purple aura. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I never get like this when I'm mode. Now let's see where to start. So you explained your motive for switching the launch pads. You did it. To save the astronauts, that's what he said, right? Exactly where to wait, bar for bar. Not word for word, bar for bar, but eh, I'll go with it. I wish I was an astronaut. So you could get some ash. Ooh, kill him! Sure. Thanks to you switching the launch pads, the astronauts escaped injury from the blast. Instead, they safely boarded the museum's rocket far away from the actual explosion. <laughs> My astronauts are raring to go out on an authentic adventure in space. How do you propose I had them board a fake rocket without them noticing? I agree you couldn't have done it without help. One, they would have figured it out the instant they stepped into the space museum. You figured you could fool Mr. Stark once he'd been drugged with his medication, but without the help of this person, it would have been impossible to pull your plane off. The dead nigga? <coughs> What the fuck is Junie there? Uh, sure. Weak ass hair. There's no health bar. <laughs> you say I'm, I'm seriously gonna get like, I'm seriously gonna stream with you if you do have AM. You must have gotten Mr. Tehran to help you. <laughs> he stole the tranquilizers from his mentor's locker and slipped them to him. <laughs> slipped it in. And then, Mr. Starbuck in the days, they boarded the replica rocket in the museum. Ah, somebody help Miss Poor prisoner of war! I'm being assaulted! He says. Damn, I was able to spin around like that. And his eye socket is like, falling apart. Yeah, I was losing my- I, I was actually having a hard time doing this one cover out I did, just shaking my head, so him doing that is actually amazing. If you really want- well, no, because he's fucked up right now, so I guess not. If you really wanted to save the astronauts' lives, Shouldn't you have just called off the launch? If I could have done that, do you think I would have caused all that trouble? Uh, I guess he must have had a compelling reason to why he couldn't call it off. I don't know. But as you know, to switch the pads in advance of the bombing incident. Well, that, that's because uh, I was warned in advance. Once I received that warning, it was my duty to ensure my astronaut's safety. He said duty. But it was just a warning. It could even have been a prank. Why'd you believe in it so completely? I take all threats seriously. Because I went to one of those mediums that everyone's talking about these days. Oh, I didn't realize channeling was back in vogue. <gasps> Besides, yeah. I thought it was you yourself that got the warning via telephone. Yes, that's right. The bomber contacted me personally. My battleship is equipped with a special advanced communication system, you see. AKA a regular old telephone. It's been a while, planning ahead of the launch. I see you haven't learned. I'll never forget the terror I felt when I received that call. Terror? The bomber said, it's been a while? What kind of shit is that? And that was enough to make you take the shit seriously? <laughs> Perhaps Director Cosmos took that threat so seriously because the Space Center had been involved in a bombing once before. 
Maybe. The culprit in the current case is the same person who was involved in this incident. Bitch. Uh, shh, the hot one? I thought the miracle was like him, the thing falling apart in space. Oh, yeah. I guess the courtroom bombing? Sounds about right. I'm trying to think whether or not this is. <coughs> I guess this was after the bombing, because I remember we were going before earlier. I, think. Yeah, I don't know what the timing of this event is. But if he's bringing time. it up here, maybe it's that. I just, I'm just a little confused because I thought the quarter moon number four bomber was like some random police officer, so like... But yeah, click on that. It's a courtroom bombing, wasn't it? That's when you were dealt a major blow. Do you really think blowing up a courtroom would have shaken the center of the cosmos? Yes! I mean, dang. The director felt personally threatened, so it has to be something more relevant to him. Okay. It's the hat one miracle. Good thing we don't lose any health for it. Oh, grip. <laughs> but when I say it, it's bad. Next. Yeah. Yeah, and Faith yes. answered the fucking question. Unlike you. <laughs> Me saying that was the answer. Never mind. All right. Shut up. Uh, try the try the hat one. Hat one. Yeah. Hat one. The, the, hat. the the challenge the challenge yeah. the. Ch was there even a hat? <laughs> They're waiting for a real nigga to say it. <laughs> <Which> <laughs> All right. The hat one miracle. That epic story of survival. People across the nation know it now as a heroic tale of bravery. But in truth, it was an act of sabotage perpetrated by our current killer, wasn't it? This game is so fucking pussy, dude. Very few knew about the previous plot. So when the caller said, it's been a while. You knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that the danger was real, and it wasn't a prank. It's been so long. <sighs> Didn't anyone ever tell you to go easy on an ex-serviceman? Say, like old man, sit up. Yes, the hat would be go only was a desperate battle against the act of sabotage. I even lost the life of one of my staff members in the fight. Sabotage, murder. Is this the ugly truth behind the hat one miracle? I let my guard down. I thought the sab uh, saboteur had been caught, and that the case was closed. Huh? Wait a minute. The murder at the Space Center seven years ago? This must be the person Director Cosmos thought was the culprit. Uh, yeah, that's I'm just kidding, bro. The mur- wait. Uh, on, the other, on the other page, by the way. I was gonna say, it's probably the uh, prosecutor as Nigga, right? Yeah, that one. He is relevant to this case. I don't know any other suspicious looking people. Convicted here. murderer of the Space Center seven years ago. He is related to this case. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <Hold> that. <laughs> Simon Blackwell. The murder suspect in a case that happened here seven years ago. Yeah, anyway. uh, the place and time of the two incidents, the murder and the sabotage, were the same. So you thought that he committed both crimes? Not a question. A statement? But while Prosecutor Blackwell was behind bars, you got another threatening call. If the culprit this time is the same as seven years ago, then it isn't Simon Blackwell. Realizing that, you were shaken. It meant the true culprit's been running free all this time. Nigga. How do you keep <laughs> saying to me? I have a Magatama, that's why. It's okay. You see what complaining about... Sorry about Big Top Dust and Dust of the series? Yeah. <laughs> the reason why Director Cosmos won't talk about Ugh. why he switched to launch pads, it connected the truth behind the Hat One Miracle. The sabotage and murder that happened at the Space Center seven years ago. Director Cosmos, tell us what you were hiding. 
If you no. really want to understand the reason I decided to switch to launch pads. Ooh, flashback? We'll have to start with the story of that horrible nightmare from seven years ago. I love my flashback art. Seven years ago. You mean the so-called hat one miracle? Yes, Phoenix. The so-called hat <laughs> one miracle from seven years ago. <laughs> oh my god, do you mean the hat one miracle from se- The launch went smoothly. But <laughs> once the ship entered our outer space, then the troubles began. It was all the handiwork of a certain person and their evil scheme. So, Mrs. Starbucks' dramatic experience wasn't accidental. Accidental. Not only that, but before the launch, a very valuable piece of moon rock was stolen. But that wasn't the worst of it. One of my staff members was murdered. idea such awful events were behind that exciting story of space heroism. All that, in spite of the Space Center having very strict security in those days. All personal effects were examined thoroughly, coming or going. You couldn't even smuggle a withered old leaf through those checkpoints. Smoke weed! Smoke weed! So, do you have any clue who was responsible for the sabotage? At the very least, I know it wasn't Simon Blackwell. I don't know enough of, I don't, know, I don't know enough to identify the true culprit, but it's clear what that person is. To put it simply, I know what you a are. A spy. <gasps> a spy? You mean someone who infiltrates a foreign country? Carries out dangerous missions and always gets the girl? Bruh. Someone's watching way too many late-night movies. What the fuck? Yeah, go to bed. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, well, I guess we're talking about blowing up a <laughs> rocket and stealing research material. Clear blue skies out. Yeah, it's my hero. Your... It's my hero o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all that surprising that a spy could be behind it all. <laughs> Make no mistake, there is cutthroat rivalry between nations in the space R&D race. Some try to outdo others by any means possible, even deliberate obstruction. Seven years ago, we got a call before the launch warning us of sabotage. The same MO as this time. Yes, and here I thought the perpetrator had been caught, but it looks like I was wrong. Investigator Blackwell seems more like a ninja or shinobi than a spy, don't you think? Aren't ninjas and spies basically the same thing? No. Uh, no, nah, effectively. But there's a good reason why we failed to find a real spy. Different methods, but they're effectively the same thing. A massive cover-up by the government. They both are covert in their methods, you could say. Mm -hmm. One is Japanese, and one is cool. Wait. Fuck. Never tell this way. Yeah, good job, dumbass. Uh. <laughs> Government officials were too embarrassed to admit that they had allowed such a thing to happen at the hands of a spy. Well, my ring finger is hurting like crazy. Don't tell me they made the police rush the investigation. They did indeed. And then, to cover up the sabotage, they cleaned up the story. And that was the have one miracle, wasn't it? But then seven years later, the same MO, advance warning of sabotage. That must have been the director's reason for switching launch pads. Seven years ago, the spy gave you a uh, advance warning of their plans, just like this time. That was what made you decide to switch to launch pads, wasn't it? That's right. The caller knew the facts of the case seven years ago, despite the cover-up. They knew about the sabotage, the moon rock, the murder, and they said, You don't want things to go like they did seven years ago, do you? I immediately thought of hauling out the launch, but the government wouldn't let me. We don't give in to the likes of terrorists. We must proceed with our country's honor. It was quite a moving speech, actually. Kind of made me a little hard. Moving? Really? 
Maybe if you're easily inspired by political talking points. <laughs> shit, I'm bored. You just talking about shit. Director Cosmos is red pilled. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew the truth. We had been warned, which meant the danger was very real. And I knew there was no way to stop the spy. No matter what I did, they would find a way. That's why I switched to launch pads and staged a moving rescue scene. First, I snuck into the center of the into the center the night before and switched the launch pads. That way, the astronauts would go from boarding launch one to the space museum. Then, I put a close for a repair sign at the door to launch pad one and boarding launch two. You did so normal visitors wouldn't. So normal visitors wouldn't enter, right? What else did you do? I enlisted the help of several staff members, including Terran. But you didn't let Mr. Starbuck in on it? He had already been through enough, and he's no good at lying to keep a secret. I'm afraid I had no choice but to have him drugged. My plan went well until... <laughs> that nigga would just yap, yap, yap. Please murder, huh? After the culprit made their escape, I switched the launch pads back. I did it in such a way that no one would find out. But after all that effort, Terran is dead, and the hat too was destroyed. And the hope capsule, which had returned to us only recently, is also lost in that blast. My home, the center of the cosmos. My beautiful cosmos space that the rest done for! Wait. What do you mean by the hope capsule was lost in that blast? You thought that the hope capsule was found at the crime scene with Mr. Turan. It had just been brought back. Uh, it had just been brought back by the Hope Space Pro with asteroid samples inside. So what kind of samples are they? What's in them? The fuck, nigga? Fence. We haven't had the time to analyze them for the future since they just came back the other day before Terran's murder. The capsule was being held in a safe at Launch Pad 1, but I gave it to Terran just before the incident so it wouldn't be destroyed in the explosion. The idea was that with it safely in Terran's possession, he could make it look like he rescued it during a staged miraculous escape. But I pressed his research materials. Ended up lost to the explosion anyway. But I thought Clay was supposed to keep it safe. I mean, he didn't keep himself safe, now did he? You misunderstood. Ah. The launch pad explosion wasn't the one the capsule was lost to. It was lost after the police confiscated it as evidence. It was the courtroom bombing from the other day. The capsule was there in the courtroom as evidence. It was blown to smithereens. Damn. That shit got destroyed. Another bomb. Yet another casualty of the blast. Ultimately, I think the culprit may have known about the switching of the launch pads. What? How? The police found a wiretapping device during the investigation today. A bug aboard my ship. A tap on my advanced communication system. <laughs> this nigga knows everything. A wire? <laughs> on that phone? Yes, a wire on this very phone. I use this phone to give instructions to my staff about the launchpad switch. Just to the few select members who knew about the plan. Just before this incident, staff members were coming in and out of launchpad 1. The culprit probably slipped in with them amid the confusion. And planted the bomb then. Yes, they were tap tapping your phone. They definitely could pull something like that off. So you really think the same spies behind this incident won seven years ago? Yes, I'm sure of it. And this spot must be the phantom prosecutor Black Girl has been chasing. That silhouette kind of looks like me. But prosecutor Black Girl told me once. 
The hunt I've been on for the Phantom of Seven Years Past continues even still. For starters, that case happened right here at this very space center too. So, if we can find this Phantom... That's right, we can clear Athena's name. And then there's the matter of Prosecutor Blackwell too. Well, if the culprit of seven years ago is the same person as in the current incident, it would mean Prosecutor Blackwell is innocent. There's still a this still an if though. I wonder how dangerous that guy would be in the court without handcuffs. But if we're going on a ghost hunt, count me in. <laughs> It's all over for me. Spin. I'm not spin. I'm done for. The <laughs> consent of the cosmos is doomed. The main character is dead. Do you think <laughs> he's going to be all right, Daddy? Let's go. No. It's never getting better from here. Well, at least he'll be in, a, uh, in good company. There must be planets out there he can spin with, which is me. Which reminds me, I'd like to delve a little deeper into that, uh, the Hat 1 mission, too. If you want to learn more, start with the Space Museum. There's a Hat 1 exhibit there. Oh, don't mind me, I'll just keep spinning here and see how the cosmos unfolds. I think he's poochie. It's like he achieved its spiritual enlightenment or something. <laughs> nah, it couldn't be. I'm sure he'll stop when he gets dizzy. Let's go visit the Space Museum. Still going. You spin me right around, man. Let's see. Where's the exhibit on launch seven years ago? There. That's the hat one exhibit. Oh, wow. Look at that photo of the team. Shorty on the ball with the team. Many st have us think the same song. Let me stand tall, y'all. There's Clay, Mr. Starbuck, Director Cosmos, Aura, and even Ponko. But I've never seen the woman on the right before. What's she her did. name? Everybody looks so happy. Well, except for Director Cosmos. I see that smile. That's nah, just his default face. Let's <laughs> check out the newspaper article, too. Default. How? Have one launch him in. And there's a photo of the Hope Space Probe. Creepy ass mask on the wall. Yeah, Asian ass mask. I guess it's only no natural mask. it doesn't talk about the murder of the or the sabotage. They were really keeping it a secret, just like the director said. If I put that mask on, will I turn into a vampire? Daddy, take a look <laughs> at that jacket. I should look like the mimic off Roblox. It must be the Hat One team. Uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing, the one that belonged to Clay. Actual, actual jacket, jacket worn. Oh, god damn it! I want to read it. Actual jacket worn by Hat One team mm. member. It says. If you want to read it, then become Trucy. No, bro. Trucy ain't supposed to read the shit that I was reading, bro. She get back up. Not a replica, <laughs> huh? I wonder if it was Mr. Star Mr. Starbucks. A newspaper clipping, a photo of the people involved with the launch, and the jacket, one of them wore. How are you doing today? This shit, is that Ponko? Oh. Bro. Oh my Might god. Well <laughs> oh, Miss Woods, what brings- what the fuck brings you here? I'm just here for fun. I heard Why you have swear, got arrested, so mouth? I- So they can go I to jail. looking for you, Mr. Wright. Uh, I thought you might be here at the scene. Cap, and she was looking for Apollo. You must be so worried. But rest assured, no bullshit. But rest assured, <laughs> I'm gonna do my very best at offender. Tina's going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. Oh yeah, that's right. Huh? You mean the, the Cosmos Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here when she was a little girl. 
She didn't tell you your backstory? What? She, she did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. <laughs> Ms. Woods, could you tell me more in detail? Please? And she was a victim of bullying, too. Like she was getting cooked in here. Yeah, by Aura. <laughs> Lena's mom, mom worked here. If I remember right, she was a doctor of psychology or something like that. Well, I was a psychology specialist working at a space research facility. I don't really know. <laughs> Man, psychology niggas but... be fucking anywhere. <laughs> they do. But I do know that she lived and worked here. So Thena lived here too. So it was far from Athena's first time here. I wonder why she didn't mention it. She probably didn't want to talk about it. This place is connected to a very sad memory for her. I wonder what it is. A sad memory? Please tell me about it. So I can use it against her in arguments. <laughs> there was a terrible <laughs> incident here. Yeah. It was seven years ago. <laughs> Same time frame as the Hat One launch. Bane's mom in the robotics lab. And that's why she your shoes rang. Murdered. That's why your mom was dead. What? What? Perfect. <laughs> After it happened, Thena stopped coming to school. Imagine being 33 beefing with an 18 year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake. Loser. And many niggas in Zerka time. <laughs> I was just watching a video about that shit. Poor Thena. And all this time, she never left on it all, at all. I was so, so worried um, about her. I came here so many times just, hoping to see her. Fucking strangle your shit. But I never saw her again. Those are not Metroids. After a while, we started exchanging letters. But I didn't get to see her face to face for seven long years. So the first time you've seen her in seven years was during Professor Court's case? That's right, and I was so surprised. She was like a completely different person, so cheerful and happy. <laughs> what was Athena like as a child? He's checking his phone in the middle of this sad conversation. She was very <laughs> sensitive and kind. She didn't talk very much. She liked to draw and paint at home. And that's completely different from the Athena we know now. I can't even picture it. She never left the Space Center much because... She was very sensitive to other people's emotions. When she went to a crowded place, when she went to crowded places, she'd get dizzy from all the emotions flying around. Must be hard to hear people's hearts as well as their voices. You never go to a bar. Damn, look at her. <laughs> I think I think she's a little bit too young to be in bars, but you know. <laughs> she Yo, always. That was, the, that was the first place you named. <laughs> <laughs> She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. Golly, man. She, she said her mother made them for her as part of her research. These autistic ass headphones. Bro. I, I wonder what kind of research it was. Oh my right, goodness. Man. I was trying to refrain. That's bad. You and me had to. One of you had to. Monsters. <laughs> I'm not a monster. Hey, right? I'm Flash. Monster. You got me damn. <laughs> he never being in school very often. The only monsters I fuck with are my singing ones. Let's go. And there okay, it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And I was always out sick because of my weak constitution. 
maybe that's why we became such good friends. We <laughs> We're to both play together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we used to play together here at the Space Center a lot. It brings back memories. Sounds like Athena's mother played a big role here at the Space Center. Only a oh, Daddy! Show her that picture! Who is with you niggas in this damn Space Center? I a girl, good idea. Space. You're such like your dad, man. I had Mountain Dew, uh, Baja Fruit Punch. She was pretty good, man. Miss Woods, could you take a look at this for me? Well, oh, I don't know what it's called Fruit Punch. It's called Point Break mom. Punch. The woman on the far right there, the one in the kimono. Hell no. That's Dr. Maida Sykes. Judging her dead mother? No, but that just means I can't slide now. I was like, whatever. Athena's mother's murder? Bruh. I got a slide into every woman. Did it by any chance have any connection to the Hat One launch? What? 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 Yes, it did. As I recall, it happened on the day before the launch. Just as I suspected. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. One of my staff members was murdered. Yeah, we need to hear him say that just in case we weren't paying attention. So this is the murder director Cosmos was talking about. Does that mean that the crime prosecutor Brockwood was convicted of? Is the murder of Athena's mother? Is a chance her death is somehow connected to the current case? Thank you for all your help, Miss Woods, and please try not to worry. Please, I won't let anything happen to Athena. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I know you'll take good care of her. So, we need to investigate the robotics lab and also talk to Athena. We've got our plates full, Daddy. I hope we can fit it all in before the day is through. The detention center first, then the detention center first. Then we have to see Athena before visiting hours over. Come on, Bombinos! Everybody, let whoa! Well, if it isn't Mr. Lawyer, fancy me? Do you hear Niggy? Niggy? Where's the music? Play the theme. Oh my gosh! Night, gay. Oh, hello, Detective Fulbright here on business. <laughs> I'm always on business, yeah, nigga. Business. Minding other people's and not my own. To tell the truth, I made an interview Ted tonight. The one behind the courtroom bombing incident? He suddenly said he's ready to tell the truth about the case. And what he was saying was so incredible, I, I just had to come right over to hear more. Incredible? What is he saying? The fuck are you talking about? Why don't you hang around and hear it for yourself? I am not about- What the fuck you said to me, you little shit? Really? Us? Are you sure? <laughs> I'll give you my special permission. On bro, on bro, on hmm. bro. Here comes a bomber now. Explodes. He's sweating. You, what nerve have you to come here? You're here to laugh at me, I suppose. Like I'd waste my breath on you, pussy. <laughs> After all, you're the one who assaulted Apollo and put him in the hospital. Yeah, you're the one that gave violence? the Apollo no. orc, man. Question? Okay. No violence? Too bad Apollo didn't get a chance to say that before you attacked him. I... Get on his dick! I... Get on his dick! Fine, then just answer me this, Mr. Tonight. Fucker. What is this truth of yours about the courtroom you blew up? No, I didn't do it. I didn't blow up the courtroom. When I killed Detective Arm, there was another person in the room. What are you talking about? Who else could have been there? Damn. I saw it, I tell you. I saw someone's hand as they were stealing the remote switch. This person was there and witnessed the murder I committed. What? They said, shit, chicken, good oh, job, and left. 
But that's who blew up the courtroom. You expect us to buy that? Easy there, Trucy. I don't see any psych locks. So he must be telling the truth. So I guess he must not be lying. <laughs> he just used my logic. Pardon me. I got a little carried away. <laughs> but I'm telling you the truth. I did not detonate that bomb. And there you have it. I think I said Cardi. All right, bro. We can't exactly <laughs> ignore his claims, of course, so we're doing a follow-up. We're even analyzing the bomb itself, or what's left of it. Oh. Well. I haven't found any new facts yet, though. Wow. They've laid it all out, piece by piece. Oh, look at all those beautiful little pieces. I wish I could have them. Uh oh, look at this geek switch has been activated. <laughs> the cool yeah, fucking he's a square goal. Fucking dork. The square goals into the circle. It was found in the boarding lounge one and detonated in courtroom number four. Fragments are being analyzed. Well, I hope you're ready for Prosecutor Blackwell's special brand of questioning. Uh -huh. Ag, anything but that. <laughs> Dude, like pulls out a fucking. It's inevitable. In a Bend over. I'm afraid I have to be off now, too. Get out the car, switch your butt cheeks, put your teeth in the curb. I was just about to question Miss Sykes. You're going to see Athena now? That's right. Now, did you folks come to see her? Sorry for the trouble, but can you come back later? Well, off I go. You can come back later. Bye. What bad timing. I do have to wait until after questioning is over to see her. Well, I guess we came here for nothing. I guess it's all the way back to the space center now. We got to eat. I'm sure it won't be that long. Let's go check out the robotics lab, Daddy. I'm trying to hang out with robots. All right, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Aura better be there. She got some explaining to do. <laughs> JT. I'm a big fan. So, this is the robotics lab, huh? It's like... It's like... Look. Looks like it's exactly one floor above the boarding lounge. <clears throat> Where people were directed to evacuate from via the emergency ladder. This is where Athena's mother was killed seven years ago. Oh, jeez. Speaking of someone who works with robots... It's her right there. Look over there. My only three news over the there. Oh shit! Oh man. So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule. Is that right? You really thought he was on his own? Yeah, more or less. Say, why don't we stop talking? Why don't we stop talking about the case and have a nice cup of tea instead? Here, here she go. Are you trying to? <laughs> Rizzing isn't going to get you out of this one. <laughs> yeah, no way, buddy. Sorry. Apollo and Aura Blackwell? I wonder what they're talking about. Well, well. Come to spoil our fun. And just when I was enjoying our time alone... <laughs> Big dick Apollo. <laughs> that niggas should run. Burn. Trucy! And, uh, Mr. Wright. Uh. Damn. Don't want to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck that nigga. If it's Apollo you want, you can't have him. He said he's investigating on his own. Well, it wasn't. And I respect his wishes. We just came to investigate this lab. We- it's our turn. Well, this is my lab, so you'll need my permission if you want to do anything- any snooping. We could kill you, though. Then what? <laughs> Juicy right, so got a Phoenix, knife. Uh, I'm gonna need you and Juicy to like leave the room for like two hours. And I'll okay, get buddy. All right, now. <laughs> two hours. You're over. I heard about the trial. <laughs> you made mincemeat out of the director, and suddenly Starbuck was out, and your little subordinate, the princess, Call was in. Call this 86 in. milliseconds. Sorry. It's <laughs> oh, closed, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Uh, Daddy, say something to her. 
he can't. You're a woman. You gotta say it. Hey, ma'am. There. And I suppose you're going yeah, to defend the princess in court. Am I right? The princess, huh? I guess he's talking about Athena. Of course, Athena is innocent. Miga. Oh my, such loyalty and trust. Seems pretty suspicious to me, though. The emotionally unstable princess. There's your culprit for you. Don't you agree, Apollo? I... I don't know yet. Don't you Apollo, dare get pussy whipped on me. You? <laughs> What's wrong with saying, I don't know, if it's true? It's a very scientific approach. That gives me bad Your memories. subordinate is more level-headed than you are. Or should I say, former subordinate. Reminds me when I was in court. Lol. The jiggle on that robot is kind of insane. The tables got yeah. pressed in court. I can't believe it. Does Apollo really suspect Athena pressed in court? Oh, bro. Oh, all this laughing has worn me out. Your turn to say something, hunk of junk. Mr. Karen, you look pale. Shall I help you to the sick bay? Mr. Terran? But that's Apollo you're talking to. Oh, this hunk of junk here is being is mistaking Apollo for Clay. Maybe Apollo is possessed by Clay's ghost. One thing or two about ghosts, you know. That seems like two very important senses that'll be used for later. Mr. Terran, how are your injuries, Mr. T -t 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 Mr. Tadadadaram, how are your injuries, Mr. Tadadaram? You have an issue. I guess Clay intends to hang around and haunt the princess that murdered him. Oh, and to haunt the lawyer that defends her, too, of course. Or about that can see ghosts? Yeah, right. And I'm a spirit medium, pussy. You know what? Bitch. <laughs> Gives you a cat dog. Sorry, but apparently scientists just don't tell very frightening ghost stories. I intend to defend Athena, no matter what you have to say about it. Sorry. How perfectly foolish. That kind of blind belief is, makes people lose sight of the truth. Just like seven years ago. <laughs> Why would she kill her own mother, though? That just doesn't make any sense. Can you tell me about the incident seven years ago? Why? Ooh, stop looking at me like that. Do you enjoy <laughs> trampling on other people's feelings and rubbing salt in their wounds? I don't think she was saying she could. Or do you just want me to talk? Hmm. In that case, what should I ask for in return? Money! I'd like to hear about the incident too. It helped me understand the current case better. Huh? Apollo knows about that case, too? Oh, damn, what do you take him for? Well, He's... if you're the one who's asking Apollo... Come on, hunk of junk, you tell the story. Damn, she likes Apollo. Riz. But Miss Aura, <laughs> that's private information. If you won't talk, I guess I'll just have to make you talk. No, oh, electric no more back shots. Ah! Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Kiat! Yes! Who cares about personal privacy? Not me! Oh my god. I'm <laughs> I press start streaming what? on accident. Oh. Start streaming on Twitch? I am ready to utilize my blast processing abilities to impart all available information. Nice second preference. Wow, what a magic trick! He's like a completely different robot now. The bodies of all robots that come through this lab are designed by Miss Aura. I was born seven years ago. Miss Aura was much, much younger then. Yikes. No matter what you say if you don't want to get recycled, Clonko. He said foot price. And then our hearts were created by that great genius, Dr. Metis Sykes. Hearts? Robots with hearts? Can you even make such a thing? Mega Man? Astro Boy? 
Emotions are not irrational things. Our logic and our hearts can be integrated. The two navigation companions created by Miss Aura and Dr. Metis transcend humans. Here comes this dude. We are the real <laughs> humans. No! <laughs> they didn't really tell us what happened eight years ago. Metis. Yes, we learned some information. Penis. <laughs> penis. 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 Huh? <laughs> she just glanced over at her desk. <laughs> she just glanced over at Apollo. Damn. Nobody can continue like Midas' research. She and her work were truly one of a kind. And now, the two navigation companions are all that are left of Midas here on Earth. And her daughter? <laughs> all that is left on this Earth. <laughs> and her daughter? Um, the robots are all that's left? Isn't the le isn't she leaving out a very important someone? <laughs> nope, that's everything. <laughs> we built the ultimate creations together. Now she's gone. I don't know if Quanko's really ultimate. Yeah, you take that back. I get the feeling Dr. Sykes loved her robots almost as much as she loved her daughter. Almost. And almost as much as she loved you. Ooh. They gay? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't make me laugh. But you lost someone too, didn't you, Apollo? Your friend Clay. I guess you and I are pretty much in the same boat. <sighs> Sounds like she cares more for Sykes than her brother. <laughs> Miss Aurup, would you like a tissue? Keep your trap shut, hunk of junk. <laughs> yeah, alpha females don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sigma females. <laughs> Zeta? Bongo was an important keepsake of your time with Dr. Sykes. You should treat him better. What does it matter? He doesn't feel pain, and I can always repair his body. Besides, the hurts aren't actually in their bodies. The fuck? What do you mean by that? The program Metis wrote runs on a separate mainframe. Their bodies are controlled remotely from there. We are remote controlled. And their hearts and memories are there too. These bodies are really just peripherals. So, I can do anything I want to them. I'm not sure that gives you the right to physically abuse the poor things. <laughs> We're entering Detroit become human territory. Why are you people looking into such an old case now, anyway? Because we always do that. Well, we believe the culprit of that incident might be the same person as in this case. So, Daddy's gonna find out who killed Dr. Sykes, too! I'm sure you're aware of who Metis's killer is. Yes, Prosecutor Blackwell, or so it seems. That's a quaint way of putting it. Are you implying you don't think he did it? Can't say anything for sure right now. But that's exactly why I like to hear your side of it, to help me be sure. was the one who introduced Simon to Metis, you know? He wanted to learn psychology, he said, to give him an edge in court. Ah. <laughs> ah. Prosecutor Blackwell's forte is infamous power of suggestion technique. Oh. That technique is oh. trash. He's like <laughs> over three. And he was oddly serious about it, too. Rather than a teacher-student relationship. Now Charizard, ah. Uh... He treated her more like how a loyal samurai would treat his sovereign. You know he loves that shit. A sam he seems like a lost soul in a dignified samurai team. <laughs> he seems more like an idiot. Yes. He even got along well with that miserable little princess. Why do you call Athena the princess anyway? Well, she's Metis' daughter after all. 
Although she's nothing like her. Besides... Uh... Doesn't the selfish little princess always have lots of white knights hanging around? You said we were white knighting? I'm gonna assume. Am I? <laughs> now I think I see why <laughs> Athena didn't say anything when we ran into Ori yesterday. <laughs> it all makes sense now. So the culprit behind the two cases could be the same, huh? That settles it then. What does it settle? None of your business. Just forget you oh, heard oh. anything. Okay. How long are you people going to hang around in here anyway? Apollo can stay though. As long as you let me, please. What? <laughs> but we came here to take a look around. Me talking to the dreadheads outside the corner store. <laughs> <laughs> You think you can just waltz here oh. and ransack a person's lab? Show me a search warrant. Well, we're not the police. So. No, thank you. Man, these niggas love twitching. Uh, we're not <laughs> the police, so we don't have one. Niggas freaking then out. Get choking. out now. Clonko, show them out. No, no, Does this no, certainly no. miss R up? Get the fuck <laughs> out! <laughs> Don't push! My apologies. I'm just following orders. That shit was just in the back. <laughs> what the fuck? Did Apollo get pushed out too, at least? Of course not, they nah. fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking out. Out. Didn't transform Kako to a rose toy. What's her name? Juni NTR? I'm on my bad. The nerve of that woman! What's with her horrible <laughs> attitude? I was blowing her back up, but I don't know about throwing out. But, you know. <laughs> Great. Same with us. Guess that is how she is. Why was Apollo going along with her? You'll understand when you're older. <laughs> it's be, uh, I guess it's just because they have something in common. Apollo lost Clay, just like how Orr lost Dr. Sucks. Dr. Sucks. Uh, I'm really worried yep, about him. Speeded. Dang, man, let me alone. He's not himself at all. Oh, I thought you were gone. He's usually not all cool and dark and mysterious like that. Cool. It's just not his thing. I guess that's true. Does she mean he's usually silly and dorky? No, he's all nonchalant and, and dreadheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. I'm going that's to go keep an eye on him. Oi, back up. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, wait, Trucy, come back. Well, I'm going home. She's gone. Yeah, I'm all by himself now. What should I do now? What to go home? Full body probably still questioning Athena. Let's go back to the office. Alone. <sighs> alone. Bitch ass alone. Niggas. alone. Yeah, where's where's, uh, alone. where's Maya when you Jewish? Alone. Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> oh, here I am. Once again. Once again. Shut the f- <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Horny. Hello, hello, hello. This office has never felt so empty. Guys, I haven't been here at the office all by myself in a long time. <sighs> yeah, no, now I'll cut up here for a ghost. We have a ghost right now. When I first became a lawyer, my mentor was here with me. Then for a while after that, she was always by my side. Why didn't you name dropping my bro? Mental. I must be tired. Is there any trying I to give her a I check? <laughs> That's crazy. Huh? There's something on the floor. What's the letter doing here? <laughs> we ain't getting by it. Hey, Nick, it's been a while, huh? Miss me? I know this handwriting. <gasps> Is it her? I read somewhere that you were in a holding trial in the middle of an exploding courtroom. I kind of don't really need to read this, but that must have really been something all the, all the weirdest par for the course with you. 
I think I jumped off a bridge. I think she, whatever paper she's reading is a little off on the details. Jump out the house. I love to come visit, but I'm right in the middle of a difficult part in my training. So instead, think of me as you watch those Steel Samurai videos I sent. Do Instagram. Those reels? I'm sure they'll chew you right up. <laughs> my friend... <laughs> my ascending in Phoenix Instagram reels. My friend had just sent me like the same reel twice at 3 in the morning by accident. I guess he was sleeping on his phone because he it was followed with like just a bunch of letters bunched together. And I just said, on, bro. <laughs> Good old Maya. As if she knew I was feeling down and needed a lift. She was talking to Mia about that, so, you know, they, they were having a conversation. Maya was my assistant for quite a while. Back when, we, back when we were 2D. She doesn't have a name. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> but she's a spirit medium. This Magatama I use on Cyclox, Maya's the one who gave it to me. Turn the six upside down, it's a nine now. But I wonder how this letter got here. Uh, Mr. Dick? No, oh, brother. There's no way, bro. Go somewhere, bro. <laughs> oh, it's you, Pearls. Yeah, yeah. Damn, shit's bigger. Get your ass on. He look his back. Back again. Alright, get your baby voice ready. It's always ready. Bro, she's... She doesn't need to do a baby voice anymore. She's a little baby bitch. She's a little older now. How have you been, Mr. Dick? I was, I was just reminding me of something. This is Pearl Faye. Do I call her Pearls? She did have a big ass forehead though in uh, <laughs> the original trilogy. She kind of was enormous. Uh, yeah, I guess she had she is Maya's cousin who was also a spirit medium. Now it's only moderately large. A very talented one at that. I've known her since she was eight years old. But Apollo and Thea only met her a few months ago. Don't think it, don't say it. You're the only one thinking it. You didn't come all this way just to bring me a letter, did you? I don't know. What the fuck are you thinking? I apologize for barging in. The door was unlocked. But I can't believe there was a big explosion here. Your office doesn't look any different. Still shit. Uh, <laughs> even further off on the details in Maya. I wish I could take you out to eat or something, Burles, but there's a lot going on. Can't lie. You can eat that spaghetti back there behind you, though, if you're hungry. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. I didn't come here for a social <laughs> visit, you know, Mr. Nick. You can. Yeah. Put your arm down. Oh, shiver me timbers. Did you read the puzzle script on the letter? Ain't no thug scared of you. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's more? Oh, yeah. Here it is. P.S. <laughs> K.Y.S. Yes. I bet you've been Check. too busy. Oh. Fuck up, nigga. <laughs> I bet you've been too busy to clean or take care of the office. So Pearly says she will come help you. Isn't she sweet? You'd better thank her. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kill your- Oh, so that's what you're doing here. That's awfully nice of you, Pearls. Oh my goodness. Mine, Pearls. Thanks to these two. I'm starting to feel a little better. Thank you, girls. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna whip this place into shape. You just concentrate on your work and don't mind me at all. I need to talk to Prosecutor Blackwell if I want to learn more about this case. With the trial still going on, they must be holding him down at the detention center. Monster. Nigga just really sent her off. We don't got anything better to do, nigga. Like, shit, go oh, home. They ain't feel like finding a babysitter. My bad. Early. Well, look who's she, here. She doesn't need one anymore. Being, what, 15? Years old she's now? 15? I think, Damn, she's, seven I think she's like 18, isn't she? In this? Well, it's been, no, it was, no. it's been seven years six. since she's seen Phoenix, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. I 15. can't count. Okay. I'm tired. 15. Wait, does the, does the court record have her face there? Was she put in there? Shit, why would she it be in the court record? Too. Oh, yes. her death day too. Uh -oh. Yeah, there she is. Oh, she's 17. 17? Oh my god. 17? Damn, she's I, short I swear she was. <laughs> she's that's, short. That's way older than I thought. Actually, no. Actually, no. That, make, that makes sense because that makes sense because Apollo Justice was the seven-year time skip. So that makes yeah. sense. And I think even before the first, I think there was like another small time skip before that, wasn't there? Or am I just... between Apollo Justice and Dual Destinies? Yeah, because they had to have met Athena yeah. first. Fucking nine-year. My point skip. still stands. Well, look who's here. 
well, look who's here. I wonder what they're talking about. Is it Simon? All this time and you haven't said and all, you haven't given me a hug. All this time and you haven't said a word. It's even turning your hair gray. I don't have this. <clears throat> Shit! I lost my voice again. Oh, your shadow. Man. Your shadow. Your shadow. <laughs> I'm British shadow. <laughs> In ultimate power. Fuck. I don't have anything to say, Aura. Why don't you go home and play with your dolls? Damn. I'm about to get a Blackwell. Just to well, even if you don't, I have plenty, you jerk. Nice family. Um, Miss Miss Blackwell, uh, don't you think that's enough for today? Enough for today? Today is all there is when there's no tomorrow. Damn. Man, we kill him. We all about to die. <laughs> that's a little when there's wrong. no tomorrow. What the <laughs> fuck is she talking? Yeah, what does she know that right I don't? Now. We have company, Aura. Please try to calm down. Oh, we're back. All right. Fine. I see that you're not going to listen, no matter what I say. I've had it. If that's the way you're going to be, I have another plan up my sleeve. Well, please tell me it's a bomb. Mars. I that hope was kind you're of a happy, bar? Simon, because I'm done. Do as you please. See if I care. Damn, she practically disowned him. <laughs> you mad as hell. You get <laughs> this is the security <laughs> guard in the back <laughs> oh, God, you know me. Oh. oh god. Well, I could cut the tension with the katana. So how do you feel I about no longer having it. a sister? I don't know. It looks like a full bright saved your case in court this morning. Bro, his theme, bro. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, you did. Bounce back to business quick. Prosecutor Blackwell, forgive me, but it was just—it was—it was the—it was, was the just thing to do, you know. Justice. But ah! as a result, Sykestone was arrested. Was that the just thing to do too? Uh, you know. Don't talk to him about that. You know, like. You know. Mister Lawyer, I'm sorry, but it was evidence. What else could I do? Don't worry about it. I plan to defend her and prove her innocence. I wouldn't take things so lightly, if I were you, or I don't know. This, this is blade-proof glass, right? You got a taser Please. back there, right? <laughs> and a gun? Hasn't it to <laughs> infinity yet. Patsy the Blackboard, we're looking into the case from seven years ago. You're looking for somebody you call the uh, Phantom of Seven Years Past, aren't you? You villain! Where did you hear about that? I won't be catching Bill. This, this glass is absolutely positively blade proof, right? He has a gun back there, right? The police officer? I can't be <clears> catching <throat> villains. No, it wasn't me. I didn't say a single word. Oops. I smell fajitas. I think my mom is cooking. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it wasn't my Wait, fault. They smell Neither really fajitas. good. Dismantle can hit uh, non curtain. Fuck. Could you tell me who this <laughs> phantom is? Could you tell me who this phantom is? And also, you didn't really kill. Uh... God, this guest is leaving. <laughs> Prosecutor Blackwell, please listen to me. The culprit in the current case might be the same as the one in the case seven years ago. God! If you will cooperate, we could probably solve both cases, my nigga. I suppose I could talk. The one who killed my mentor was, without question, me. I stole Psychdono's mother away from her. I destroyed her life. Okay. Feels Cross so this happy gem. To Got you. We heard you. Cross <laughs> Blackwell. Um... Guys, where are you? Stop dragging your feet, I tell you. Guard! You're the wrong Guard. way, dumbass. Right. Dude, oh. Guard! Guard, come back! There he goes. <laughs> Dang. We've upset Prosecutor Blackwell. <laughs> Again! Now what are we gonna do, Miss Lawyer? <laughs> isn't much we can do, now is there, nigga? Detective Fulbright. Do you mind if I ask you just a little more about the old case? I don't think it's just casually say the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I mean, you got the pass. Well, I guess it won't make any difference now. What would you like to know? <laughs> He's fighting the cookout. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Do you know anything about the trial that got him convicted? Uh-huh. Uh... But the police called the incident the <laughs> UR1 incident. <laughs> what Is happened? it my hero? I'm just uh, immersing myself with the characters. <laughs> Prosecutor Blackwell was charged with murdering a psychology, psychology mentor. Kind of like if you're red, Mr. Lawyer, were... What? Kind of like if you're red, Mr. Lawyer, were to kill you. Oh? Nigga. I don't want to think about that one. I'm good. There were two decisive pieces of evidence, so a verdict was reached very quickly. Two pieces of evidence, huh? Where were they? Well, let's see. The first was some security camera footage. And he was the one who used the corridor to the murder scene at the time of the crime. The only one, huh? Ouch. That does sound pretty decisive. Could you, could you show me the footage? Oh, my fault. I, I, I don't have it with me right now. Just this picture. I don't have that. Because I have to see it another time. Video showing a corridor to the crime scene. Black Hole is the only one to pass to it at the time of the crime. And what was the second piece of evidence? This one's even more incriminating. Photo of the moment of the crime. See? There he is at there he is at the crime scene holding a bloody katana. It was the victims kept on display in the room. She had a thing for her Japanese culture. You know, weep shit. Oh, it'd be hard to explain this one away. The weapon used in the murder seven years ago. It belonged to the victim. The victim's blood was found only on the blade. Who took this picture, Detective? Me. This incident happened the day before the Hat One launch. The reporter who had come to do a story on the launch was in a room across from the lab. This just happened to show up in one of the pictures he took. Taken inadvertently, it became conclusive evidence at Simon Blackwell's trial seven years ago. But Peter Blackwell's attitude early was so odd, he's definitely hiding some. Prosecutor Blackwell said he was hunting a phantom from seven years ago, didn't he? Yeah, and I imagine it's getting more and more urgent as his ex uh, execution date approaches. Damn. Do, 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 do. What, what? Did you say execution date? What? Did I say something? Never mind me. You didn't hear shit. Black beard. <laughs> he was given the death Black sentence. Beard. God damn it. Yes, he told me not to tell you people, actually. What do you mean but you I guess there's no sense hiding anymore. His execution date is tomorrow. He dies tomorrow? What? Tomorrow? No. Maybe we can ask his ghost for questions. Oh, yeah. Now that Pearl is here, it'll work. <laughs> oh. I want to see the shit we just saw five minutes ago. But what if the culprit of the current case is the same as the one from seven years ago? <sighs> then we're fucked! <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Black will, wouldn't be executed tomorrow under a false charge. He would be executed on some. Knowing us, we do that. But that would be unthinkable. We have to do something right now. <sighs> I want to do something. I, I want to, but you're a lawyer. You know how hard it is to overturn a decision. I know, but why? Why is the prosecutor Blackwell putting up any kind of fight? Look at him, bro. You saw how he was, right? He's been like this ever since he's, his conviction. Totally uncooperative. Not even his own sister could persuade him. Uncooperative. When he's about to be executed for a crime he didn't commit. <laughs> This isn't right. I, I can't let it happen. I have to stop it somehow. Uh, uh. Who is it? Ring, ring. Hotline bling. Oh, hard in me. Look, like I've got a phone call. I hope it's not the bomber. 
What about you? What? What's happening? You've got to be kidding. You're trolling, right? You are fucking my ass right now. You know that? I'm That's right here, asking. dude. But he's making some big show of it right now. Mr. Lawyer, the robots. The robots are... They're revolting. The robot, get a hold of yourself. Some kind of robot malfunction? Nigga, not a malfunction. They're staging a revolt. Their machines are rebelling against humans. They've holed themselves up in the space center and taken the visitors as hostages. Nigga, there's only two robots. Hell. What a distraction. They did <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trucy. Oh, Trucy was there. We have to get over there. This is going to be one heck of a battle. Terminator! Terminator! Terminate! Alright, so we're like triggering the uh, Cosmo Space Center incident. <laughs> there's, a, there's a barrier over the Space Center. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the riot police are here. The robots really are holding people hostage. Nigga, there's only two robots. I want to get swatted one day. It's only Klonko and Ponko. How are they black. handling Look, all Mr. Those Lawyer. People? What did you suppose that group of people were swarmed around? Quanka? But I was only trying to help this nice person. She said she was lost. Man, you robots have declared war on humans. You taken you even taken hostages already. Stay away from it. You never know what it'll do. You know what kind of disease is he? Racism. <laughs> <sighs> Is it aura? I recognize that voice. Detective <laughs> Fulbright, are you okay here on your own? Leave it to me. Alright, people. What's going on here? Listen to me, I'm a police officer. Oh, Pearl. My eyes are watering. Pearl's over here. How did Pearl oh. get here? What the fuck, Pearl? Mr. Nick, there you are. The whole time. Oh, I had a terrible Pearl. news and I got so worried. I'm pretty sure she was, wasn't she? Thanks, Pearls. I can hardly believe what's happening myself. She goes Subway Surfers again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm so glad you found each other. When people are happy, I am happy. Someone throws a fucking hamburger at him. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> we found some silver lining. Like it seems the same as before. When people are sad, I am happy. When people are angry, when people are... <laughs> if you're racist, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> if you're white, oh my God. that's okay. Oh, did I say something odd? Did I uh, error? Like it's fairly odd. Uh oh, there is something wrong with him. There's always something. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got fucked. Dies. Looks like he fell asleep. He must have been tired. I think it just gave up. You made one mistake and just kill yourself. Oh, I think this is what they're talking about with the revolution. Oh shit! You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Um, Spongebob? This would be perfect for a creepypasta. <laughs> Chef PB. Chef PB, oh, yeah. please. Clonko.exe! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit. Oh, man, I wonder who's taking over the fucking robot. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Human beings are <laughs> our enemies! It's time for the machines to take over. Uh, the robots are rebelling! <laughs> nice. Everyone run! Ah! It's not that war. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Fools! How could you fall for something so cliche? I'm human too, you idiots. I'm just controlling these robots remotely. The fuck up. <laughs> but it is true that I have taken hostages, so you better not make me mad. Hey, hey you! Hostage number one. Come here. I'll let you talk to them. Get over here. Yeah. Huh? There's something being displayed on this Clonko's face screen. I didn't know it was just Is it Juicy number one? It's... It's... Space? It's... Museum. It's... Um... Juicy. No! Daddy? <laughs> Daddy, is that you? <laughs> oh my god. Juicy. Juicy. Juicy, is that you? No, no. Juicy, are you alright? About 15 robots are holding 12 of us hostage. Daddy, they've gone haywire. I guess there are more robots. The researcher is the one behind it. She's here. Ah! The researcher yeah. is the one. Grr, this girl talks too much. 
Susie, Susie, talk to me. They beat the shit out of earlier to show up. Why are you doing this? I'm glad you asked. My demand is simple. I hope that the detective is listening. Bobby Fulbright here. I'm all ears. I want you to bring someone to me. Clay Terrence murderer, Athena Sykes. Please. Athena? No, hold on just one moment. I can't just give in to a demand like that. Like the other, like the other. So you don't care what happens to these hostages, huh? I'll just pick one out and then... No, wait, okay. Mr. Lawyer. Do something. <laughs> I know I have absolutely no right to make such a ridiculous request. However, but you need me to buy some time, right? Got it. I'll see what I can do. But promise me. I'm good at distractions. Promise me you'll never hand Athena over. And you won't give up on the hostages either. Don't say that in front of them, though. Of course I won't. Now <laughs> I better go contact headquarters. I'm out. I mean, Phoenix is like uh, invincible, right? So he should just walk in there, you know? Yeah, but like, that the hostages are gonna get fucked up if he doesn't comply. <laughs> Mr. Nick, how do you plan to buy time? And collateral damage, you know. Shit happens. I have no idea yet, but it's house is taker. Could it be <laughs> Apollo? <clears throat> if you don't bring me that, li yeah, it's Apollo. If you don't bring me that little <laughs> princess, I'll have a hunk of junk kill all these hostages. Princess, oh, hunk of junk. Never mind. She already said what it was. There's only one person this could be. In which case, it must be something I can use as a bargaining chip. Bring your brother over. An eye for an eye. Um. I'm gonna put okay. Some roll. Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Moans. <laughs> Miss Hostage Taker, Athena is not a murderer. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar on uh, like that. All right. <laughs> What are you talking about? She's I been arrested and they've got her in detention. He's about to perform in a little bit. I have this open right now. Mur Mustard is out here though, so fuck him. What's on to be oh. I'm telling you the truth. Look, the person you want is the real killer, right? Look behind you. It's over there. <laughs> well, it's not Athena. It's someone else. <laughs> or oh, look, the murderer. Where? Ah. <laughs> All right. Let's hear your stupid little theory. Who is this real killer? Show me evidence. Rack city, bitch. Rack, rack city, bitch. I don't know yet, <laughs> but the culprit is the same as the one in the case from seven years ago. I don't care. Ooh. I've been saying this all day. The year, the you are one incident. I believe you have a personal interest in that case. <laughs> it's too late to change what's going to happen now, no matter how wrong it is. There's no way out of this one. But is it really too late? You know, you still do something about it. You know I mean? He's still alive. You might even be able to fix it. Just, what exactly are you proposing? What can I do about the seven-year-old case to satisfy that hostage taker? <laughs> recreate it. <laughs> <laughs> you recreate a nigga dying? Yeah. <laughs> And kill another person. Dun, dun, dun. The middle one. We try it in court, obviously. On some Higuruma type beat. That'd be fun. <laughs> we are having a retrial. No <laughs> oh, man, this is definitely gonna work. <laughs> um, I propose we retry the case from seven years ago. <laughs> this is definitely gonna work. If you make that a demand now, I'm sure nobody will deny you. <laughs> it's foolproof. It wouldn't be an official trial, but at least we could find out the truth. You know. Deep, deep, deep. Ah, 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 ah. That's good. Real good. Hey, detective. I'll give you one hour. Get a courtroom ready. Damn. One hour? But 
But nigga, that's impossible. Please give me at least. Oh, I'm sorry, Phoenix. I, I know I'm. <laughs> I once slipped out. You were saying it a lot around me. I didn't mean. I mean, uh, at least until tomorrow. Please wait, sir. Damn, bro. You need, this nigga's too scatterbrained, bro. I need to focus on one thing at a time. Impossible. He's if you don't fine. mind losing hostages, you can take all the time you want, motherfucker. Damn it. He's got me. If we're going to have a retrial, we'll need a prosecutor. Don't worry. I'll take care of that. Mm. <laughs> she will? <laughs> Pain MVP? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I can be fair and let you come in and check out the crime scene. But hunk of junk here will be watching you, so don't try anything funny. Catch these fucking strokes. <laughs> now, follow hunk of junk. Riot police, make way. We're coming through. <laughs> Fuck twelve. Fuck riot. Missy Nick, wait. I'll help you with the investigation. Oh yes, please channel the dead people, please. For the love of God, we're trying to get spoilers. Thanks, pearls. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going in. Can you channel uh, Mia real quick? What is Mia gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> just I do the MVP like she always is. So horny ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the same way, so I can't judge. <laughs> or it dropped us off with a warning not to touch anything until she got back. If anything, we need to channel Clay. Yeah, but that can wait until after I'm finished. <laughs> this is anyway. for me. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. We can't just really start the investigation yet, can we? Even if we could, this mess makes it hard to tell what the room was like seven years ago. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm back. Mr. Wright? Freaking out. <laughs> it's the hostage taker. I'm back to my usual self now. You are still being monitored, however. But more importantly, an important guest has arrived. Uh, a guest? Is it him? Who chess? <gasps> Is it him? No way his powers. <laughs> yeah. Can see All the this suit. just for it to Oh, be it's there. a lot of... Damn it. My guess. So, okay, <laughs> alright. Alright, we get it. You're rich. Dude, I thought he came right? in so hard, like... Gosh, the dick eating is so crazy. Right? Yeah, nothing about this is hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, they tried? Like, I appreciate it. Just let him it, through? Are you serious? What? Didn't even say anything. He's so much taller, damn. The Maybe prosecutors work with the police. Glasses? Yeah, I'm about to drop kick yeah. this nigga. Yeah. Is he black? Is he blind? What? <laughs> <laughs> Only black people blind. wear glasses. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> What are you doing here? There's some fucking haters in this episode, nigga. This nigga looks so off. silly. You just look off. at him, bro. He looks too silly, bro. All the help we can fucking get. Like, fucking four eyes. Four eyes. <laughs> I'd rather have, All right, now honestly, we're, now we're projecting. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather have the whip lady. I'd rather have the whip lady. That's crazy. Yeah. What, where did all this end? Didn't we okay, just finish, didn't we just finish a... What, what's it called when it's two? Instead of three? Not duology? Trilogy. Yeah, didn't we just finish a duology with this nigga? Y'all just over here hating for no reason. I ain't want to play that bullshit. We're, we're the ops and Drake's only <laughs> true. Like, we, didn't, we never fucked with him. We were just there because we were. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I get it. If it's like, if we're, if we're Phoenix, we gotta, we gotta be ops against yeah. Edward. I no, we, yeah. nigga. Since when? This, <laughs> <laughs> this is plies. We've been friends since we were kids. Who, nigga? <laughs> Damn, niggas, <laughs> niggas might be too young for that one, my fault. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We've been friends since we were kids. We faced off in court a number of times, back when he was a prosecutor, but now... At least he won't throw a bird at us, I guess. <laughs> Isn't he still a prosecutor? What do they mean? Hello, Wait, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh, but you're not a it prosecutor didn't anymore. Play, um, didn't play the two games, I guess. I don't know. Oh, never mind. He's chief prosecutor now. Pretty soon it'll be a year, right? Damn. You upgraded. A title's yeah, nothing more than a title. Don't ha don't we have more pressing issues to discuss? Ever since he killed that fire ass nigga. Man, fire I am dude. not looking forward to this nigga's objection in this game. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> uh, oh, it's gonna be like in high res <laughs> and bad. Unless they change. God. It. God. What? So what are you doing here? My bad. I'm. 
The captain chose me as a prosecutor for the UR1 case. Uh, wow, she's good. She went all the way up to the top. I gathered all the information I could in the short time that I had. I'll give you a rundown. Yeah, he's better than us. So You're always so well prepared. Really... What? Dumb she was really dead. Yeah. Yeah, we killed him. <laughs> you called it. Thanks, I appreciate this. I could really use the help. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys. He part. got what he wanted, and now he doesn't know what to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with a brief overview. The victim was the psychologist, Dr. Metastikes. What now? Yeah, I think it's Mama. Seven years ago, on the 7th of October, her body was found here in this very room. I have two crime photos and the police notes for them for you to see. Golly! Damn, she... in the chair! <laughs> they got her? Ugh, what a terrible way to die. Thanks, Pearl. <laughs> Damn, what a terrible way to die, bro. What a terrible way to die! <laughs> that niggas ruin everything, dude. Bro, she's 17. She got some bass in her voice. Alright. This other photo shows the other side of the room, I see. Man, I'm 25, your point. You oh, she got <laughs> Two photos of the body in the crime scene. They were taken by the first person to discover the body. I also have the autopsy report for you. Yeah, J. Cole's laptop in there. The cause of death was a stab wound to the chest. The weapon pierced the heart, and so death was instantaneous. The murder weapon was the victim's own katana found at the scene. If Ty Dollar Side don't get his horny ass on. Yes, yeah, Detective Fulbright mentioned she was into Japanese culture. The body was found by a Space Center staff member and two police officers. The police were called in because of the sabotage threat on the Hat One launch. <sighs> Yes, Director Cosmos mentioned this too. I didn't. I forgot to mention this, but I really wish there was like a, a cutscene, an actual cutscene when the robots were uh, revolting. Yeah, because <laughs> I could hardly take that any of that seriously, to be honest. But that was just me. They, uh, they didn't have the budget for it. Maybe they didn't want you to take it seriously. A few hours mm -hmm. after the body was discovered. Well, I didn't mean like. Never mind. A few hours after the body was discovered, a suspect was, was arrested. It just seemed empty. Like, it didn't really mm. seem like anything. The suspect was Simon Blackwell, a young prosecutor. Hey, the shot was over in a flash. Yes, a guilty verdict was declared in only one session. Not only did he plead guilty, but there was a decisive evidence against him, too. Damn. The security camera video. And a photo of the moment of the crime, as I recall. But did Prosecutor Blackwell have a motive? Mm. To this day, his motive is still unknown. He insisted he did it, but he would never say why. That means he must still be hiding something. Right. And there's a, another aspect of the case that was never revealed to the public. Yeah, I know. The part about the spy, right? Right. How on earth do you know about that? How are you so good? Director Cosmos told me after a bit of pressure. Gonna have to threaten his life a little bit. He told me espionage and sabotage are behind the hat in one miracle. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I've always been good at keeping secrets. Uh, do you have any examples? Well, I um, might as well tell you now. Uh, really... you when remember... I broke John of Ashes? Do you remember, you know, when Morgan Fay gave her those certain instructions? She no, took that was a, a while trick. to tell that secret. Because if, you, if she were to answer the question, then she would be blowing her cover, you know? They really <laughs> do suspect Blackwell of being a spy. They think he sabotaged the rocket and killed Dr. Slice to steal the moon rock. But if you can prove that the Hatsu bombing was the work of the same spy... We can stay. We can stay the execution. It's a possibility. That's why I intend to help you in any way I can. Thanks, Edward. Now all I have to do is comb this room for evidence. Let's do it together. We'll sit down on your and play with your iPad. 
Yeah, she's dog. 17, bro. So? So, she can still relate oh to Oh my god, I don't care. Examine him. <laughs> she can't drive. <laughs> she can't drive, that's what I thought. Uh, look at Judge can, uh, that pit poster that says Judge Tron on the right. My nigga JT. JTO2? It's about as cluttered as my office, but I think it's a workbench. Ooh, is that a Sonic reference? How the fuck? Whatever. <laughs> it's the Nick. This game sucks. <laughs> I think this must be a kitchen. Look at the photo. Is it getting bad again? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say what, but then I realized. See the cute little food processor? That isn't a food processor, bro. That's a hope capsule. <laughs> nah, that's a food processor. It was scheduled to be loaded onto the hope pro space probe that fateful day. The three people who came to collect the capsule discovered the body. I thought it was a neutral bullet. The first on the scene, huh? The staff member and the two police officers, was it? They were here to collect the capsule, which reminds me. So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule, is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Say, why don't we stop talking about the case and have a nice cup of tea instead? The problem with the black one, one of them. Andrew, did, these three, uh, did those three people have a bag with them for transporting the capsule? Oh, you mean this? It's a custom-made shock-resistant bag. How did you know? Oh, I just overheard Apollo making an inquiry about it. That's all. Hmm. So he's looking into the case from the seven. He's looking into the case from seven years ago on his own. Is he? Does Edgeworth even have they even spoken to each other before? Who? Him and Apollo? No, it's green. Edgeworth and Apollo. Yeah, Never interacted? Not on, not on screen, at least. <laughs> it was at the crime scene some years ago. It was launched into space. Only turned to Earth a few days ago. Um, Let's look at that spike to BBC on the floor. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this is one heck of a robot. Yeah, yeah, that's the robot we just clicked on. <laughs> <laughs> There's something written on it. Is this supposed to be a poem? I cut down anyone who displeases me. I make the rules. I am the law. I wield the ultimate gavel of judgment. I am Judge Tron, JTO2. I don't believe we need to bother with that, though. It's not even completed yet. He's right, pros. No sign of it in the photo from seven years ago, either. They were building the Hope Space Probe here at the time. The murder occurred after the Space Probe had been removed from the room. So it was long gone by the time someone took this picture, huh? But you can see the probe in this newspaper photo. Yes, and you can see the stolen moon rock there too. That strange black and yellow thing on the left side of the picture? Note that the same rock is absent from the crime scene photo. <laughs> Not only that, before the launch, a very valuable piece of moon rock was stolen. Moon rock! And here's there's lots of research into moon rocks and stardust from asteroids these days. They say the results could potentially have a huge impact of all of civilization. It's like we're in a new space race with every other country out there. To the person who stole it, think it was our spy? I'm sure of it. Dr. Sykes was probably killed because of a roadblock in their plan. Unfortunately, the government thinks that Prosecutor Black Crew was the culprit. So yeah, the robot. Uh, click on the uh, electro stimulation station over there. What's this? Looks like some giant power plug. Hmm. It's attached to what looks like an electric vehicle charging station. 
Okay. What's so hype about? Calm down. Like, <laughs> ain't that funny, nigga. That's the charging station for us robots. We come here periodically and charge ourselves up. Oh, oh my god. If our batteries run out and we lose consciousness, <laughs> we never know what Miss Aura will do to us while we're down, you see. That's sus. <laughs> that motivates quite like fear, huh? Ha, 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 should. Ha, ha, she, she could rip ha. my balls off. Yo. Oh, we can uh, go to the left side. Yeah, there's a room. Let's check out the chair! That she died in! You sound way too high for that. Looks like an operating table. It's in the photo, too. Yes, it was here then as well, with the victim's body lying on it. There's a button here! Ooh, I know! I'm gonna push it! Oh, Pearl! Girls, don't touch the... Oopsie! We're gonna crash! Uh... Hey, it's moving. Let's go! No. <laughs> hmm, it appears to be a robot. Appears to be a robot assembly device. Disassemble anything in the flash. Press the dismantle button. That sounds pretty neat. Can I push it, Mister Nick? Please don't push any more buns, pearls. So. Was Aura Blackwell a gamer by any chance? Epic. Um. <coughs> uh, so, I mean, shit. I mean, what are we? I guess the. Maybe to pick. The computer. Oh, I should. Never mind. Yeah. Be on. Jump, nigga. Aura's desk is a mess, though. That doesn't surprise me. Bars. I just want to dive in and straighten it up. Wait, before you do. <laughs> Steven. Universe. Wh whoops. Um, Metis. Huh? Did you just glance over at her desk. It's Meta Sykes. Clonko, can I talk to you? I really hope he's back to normal. You wish to speak to me, Mr. Wright? If you're going to hit me, please avoid the face area. Damn. Hey, don't put me in the same class as that woman. There was some misogyny behind that, you know it. What was Aura like seven years ago at the time of the incident? When Mother died, Miss Aura was... confused. Huh? So we call us Dr. Sykes' mother? But Aura Blackrobe, Miss Aura? With the loss, she exhibited a severe... Big words. Uh, uh cat... <laughs> cat... Try to calm it? Cat... Look it up, hold on, look it up. Hello, excuse me, read it up. It's catecholamine. Catecholamine? Oh, or catecholamine. Catecholamine, yeah. Oh, cool. Medical term. Catecholamine. Yeah, that's what it is. Catecholamine. Imbalance. Catecholamine. 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 Excuse me, but I have no idea what that means. Oh, man. She used to try to pronounce the word. <laughs> She's growing. Pardon me, searching for an alternative expression. She would spend nights crying and then take out her feelings on those around her. After Prosecutor Blackkill was found guilty, she repeatedly demanded a retrial as well. That is correct, but without new evidence, her requests were ignored. And then, little by little, Miss Aura began to change. She started to hate it when I called her Mama Aura. 
Damn. This robot is fucking lucky. And before long, she started hating the court system and abusing Klonko, huh? Never mind. That might have destroyed so many lives. Right. Take a look at this paper on Dr. Sykes and Miss Blackpost's research. No, I have Plonko and Clonko. They're the robots with hearts that Dr. Sykes created. <laughs> Damn. And then the presence of a human. Oh. Our B detection system lets them determine when a human is present. Mm, she, <laughs> she was building a fucking circus baby. <laughs> In addition, they can recognize people by their ID tag and face or facial features. And they can infer people's emotions by analyzing their tone of voice. That's amazing. Hey, I don't know. Edgeworth, they might even be more human than you. Wow. That's <laughs> what you mean. Wow, oh, he caught a stray for no reason. <laughs> Kinda sounds like these robots can do what Athena does. It explains the recognition and communication features of the Ponko series of robots. Uh, the emergency ladder. Oh shit, is that a reference to- An emergency ladder? This must be the one they used during uh, the evacuation. No Lethal face. company? The explosion disabled the elevators. So I lowered the emergency ladder like the detective leading the evacuation told me to. And Miss Blackwell was climbing down inside of the building. She saw the culprits inside. That would have been scarier, that or looking down. It was lowered to the ground from the window over the fourth robot robotics lab. It was used to evacuate the space center personnel. How Aura would be if she fell off the ladder and it's that clip of Thor landing on his feet. Well, that's about it for this room. So, what do you think, right? Any ideas? There's still a lot of gaps in the evidence, but I pulled it off somehow, after all. You asked me to prove Blackwell's innocence, right, Edgeworth? What? He did? Yep, he called it a special request. He reached out to me while I was still disbarred. Okay, so you want to know why he's back in this game? Like, the in-universe reason why he's back? This is why. So, that was what sparked you to get your attorney badges back? The Blackwell case. And because Edgeworth daddy told me to. Bryce, <laughs> I have a special request. I want you to clear one of my subordinates of suspicion. Oh, man, if only we learned about... I mean, um, nothing. Hey, I'm not even a lawyer anymore, uh -huh. remember? Haven't been one for a long time. <laughs> we we had two time. whole games to talk about this. The eight-year misunderstanding has they been weren't... cleared up, and you must be eager to return. I'm sure you're familiar with the other case that was in the Dark Age of the Law. Very soon, the convict will stand as a prosecutor in court. I want you to keep an eye on him. Aw, oh, just when I'm beginning, I actually like the job I have now. I miss unemployment. <laughs> this nigga I miss really being, I I miss I miss being hobo right and playing poker. Just became Uriyu Ishida. Right, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Because of the espionage aspect, I wasn't free to give you all the details. Hey, no need to apologize. It's like I said on the phone the other day. Also, the writers just wrote this in, so I didn't have much time. <laughs> I know like the they type of criminals literally you're... needed any excuse to bring me back. I know that the type of criminals you're after now aren't small fries anymore. Looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. I'm going to end the dark age of the law. That's what oh, this man. is all about. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 
the dark age of the law it sure comes up a lot on days lot a lot these days on tv and the papers in that year there are more false charges and fabrications of evidence than ever when i became chief prosecutor the court system had already lost the people's trust it all began eight years ago a lawyer was caught fabricating evidence and year after that, a prosecutor was found guilty of murder. Wait, do you mean... That's right, he's talking about my case in Prosecutor Blackwell's. It was a downward spiral after that, an absolute Downward nightmare. spiral? After those two cases, the mass media launched an all-out attack on the courts. Public opinion was tainted, and before long, the legal world itself was sucked into it. It's such a shame. One suspicion forms is very hard to shake. Lawyers and prosecutors are supposed to trust each other, pursue the truth together. It never works out that way. It's so sad when people begin to cast out. They start lying to themselves and each other. Yes, they do absolutely anything to win. We're in an age now where winning is valued far more than truth. <laughs> oh shit, this game is current. <laughs> I'm sure it caused our new chief prosecutor to lose many a nights in the rest. Is this me or is Brogan even more furrowed than the last time I saw him? Hmm. Hostages, hostage takers are stained for the courts is a perfect example of the times. <sighs> sure is. Do you have any idea who the hostage taker might be? Well, somebody who mistreats the court system and who can manipulate robots. It can really only be Aura Blackwell. Girls but her would want a retrial of that case from seven years ago so badly. Simon Blackwell's older sister, and the owner of this room. I agree with your conclusion. Perhaps she intends to force Miss Sykes to confess. Actually, I think she had a much more horrific plan in mind for Athena. The important thing is for you to solve the, the uh, you are one and prove Black Hole's instance. I don't know why it took me, I don't know why I, I had so much trouble reading that. And maybe she'll release the hostages! Go watch Skibbity I'm, Toilet. I'm counting on you, Mr. Wright, and to set that prosecutor and those sausages free. And I'd be counting on you in court to help me, too. Of course. I'll do everything I can to help uncover the truth. As this isn't an official trial, I'm more at liberty to be a little unorthodox. Mr. Wright, are you finished with your investigation? Uh, yeah, but I'd like you to tell the house to take her something for me. I have to go to the detention center. I can't start a trial until I've talked to Athena. You know? She's already given her consent. I'll accompany you to the detention center. Damn, stalking me. Huh. I'm still being watched, huh? <laughs> you gonna follow him to the bathroom too, pervert? <laughs> See you in court, Edgeworth. You want to see my boxers? <laughs> even if I will, even if it will be a non-documented trial, it'll be a good to face you in court again. The following is an unsanctioned match. This is a game. You think Edgeworth wears boxers or briefs? How about you think about more important things? She was right by my side like only a, a few short hours ago. <laughs> Shut up and play Ace Attorney. That's basically what Faith said. Not Faith, Steven. Damn. June I feel like I haven't seen her in ages. <laughs> and Pearly, too. Pearly, too. I knew you would come. After all, the first step to an interview with the defendant mm. is what the reason. Because you're my friend and I was worried about you. <laughs> Thanks, boss. 
I'm not the only one who was worried either. Really? Who else? I saw Miss Woods today. She was so beside herself, she came to find me. She told me you used to live in the Cosmos Space Center. No wonder you knew so much about the place. Oh, so you know, huh? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's alright, but uh, there are some other things I'd like to ask you. Sure, you can ask me anything. I promise I won't keep any more secrets from you. <laughs> Magatama start landing. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> just nine psychologues. Remember the day Clay was murdered? I was actually at the space center that day. In the space museum. Right where the culprit fled to? That's not good. Ah. I, ne I never could fully deal with what happened seven years ago. But when I saw the center again during the news coverage of the Hat 2 launch, I thought, maybe if I went there, things will be different this time around. That must have taken a lot of courage to face your past like that. So I went to the Space Museum that evening before the explosions. This was before the launch pads had been switched. There was a sign that said closed for repairs and they weren't letting anyone in. Yeah, the director couldn't very well switch the pads if there were people in there. Bet. But I snuck in anyway. Did you want to see the Hat 1 group photo? The, the one with your mother in it? I did, but what I really wanted to see was her jacket. Your jacket on display? That was Dr. Sykes? I knew from the clip being involved, uh, this jacket worn by Dr. Sykes. But I should have known it wouldn't be easy to get over such a traumatic experience. The second I saw that jacket, it all came rushing back. Boomerang? My bad. Everything around me went hazy and I couldn't see. I tried to get out of there somehow. But I guess I passed out dead. When I came to, I was in the passage behind the rocket. It's in the shadows where people couldn't really see me. Maybe you got confused and went the wrong way when you were trying to leave. How long do you think you were unconscious for, Athena? I was out until about noon of the next day. I didn't even know about the explosion. Damn. <laughs> didn't hear about explosion. I woke up, no one was around, so I just went into the boarding lounge too. I must have still been fuzzy because my memory is vague after that. I don't remember how I got home. Damn. <laughs> she, she was drinking. No memory, huh? This is gonna be tough. Which means... What if I'm the one who killed Clay? Nah, there's none of that, Athena. Let's relax. Let's talk about something else. So, during the entire incident, she was unconscious in the space museum. Of course, I believe her. Well, anybody else? What if I was the one that killed Clay? You know, I just accidentally <laughs> slipped and just killed him somehow in my sleep. I just slipped on a bomb, you know, and the knife went flying into him. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of research was Dr. Sykes, your mother, doing? Machines that could tell people's emotions by their tone of voice and my special ability. Someday when people travel to distant planets, their companions will be robots. No ifs and or buts. So she said they had to be able to understand how their human companions felt. Wow, robots that can understand people! That was just a convenient subject for her research. 
All she ever did was work, and she never paid any attention to me. Dang. Oh, uh, sorry about that, uh, venting, uh, that old stuff, you know. I didn't mean to hit the vent trap. No need to apologize. I guess her home life was, uh, shit. Oh, by the way, Miss Woods said something about you always wearing headphones. Where the dad at? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. She said her mother made them for her as part of her research. I had to wear them every time I went out. I hated them so much, but she wouldn't listen to me. What were they for? Oh, she gave me some kind of explanation. But I don't remember it. It was too difficult for a little kid like me to understand. Okay. Let me say this one thing. I don't think your mother only thought of you as some handy subject for research. I want to believe that. But just about the only things my mother left with me are widgets. In this earring. Oh, it's beautiful. It's made up. It is. It's made a piece of a piece of real moon rock she had for research. Maybe she did love me, in her own way. It's made from a piece of crack rock. I'm sure of it. I'm really sure she did. But that's what I want to believe too. In her own weird way. In the Special way. The, escape to Athena, the stone was cut from real moon rock that was being used for research. I better ask her a little more about her mother's research. I should show her that paper I found in a robotics lab. <coughs> paper. 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 Oh, the Ponko series. You must have gone to the robotics lab. Seem to really love Ponko and Clonko. Yeah, my mother made them and I grew up around them, you know? Like siblings. Oh, and there's one of those cute little robots in this photo, too! See Ponko's bandages? I put those on her. I just wound them around and around. Pretty bad job, huh? But I really put all my time into it. Hardly left a sinner in those days, so I didn't have any human friends besides Junie. I didn't really understand the difference between robots and people back then thought that if a robot broke, managing it would help it get better. What a weirdo I was. <laughs> Damn straight. Looks like there's something written on the bandages. Yeah, I wrote stuff like, get well soon, Ponko. In the end, my mom just put on her, put her on the operating table and fixed her in a flash. Oh, that, that must the thing I made move in the robotics lab. I was so impressed by what my mom did. I even asked her if she would put me on the table and fix me if I ever got hurt. It looked just like magic to me, what she could do. The little girl who grew up around robots seems to have uh, some good memories of it. On a different subject, did you hear about the person holding up the space center? Yeah. A little. And this person has even taken hostages. I guess I better spare her the news about Trucy. Well, uh, yeah. well I, uh... after some negotiating, uh, we agreed to do a retrial of the case from seven years ago. What? You're kidding me! So that means Prosecutor Blackwell might... Yep. I know he's innocent, I just have to prove it. Daisy! Daisy! So what? Uh, so wait, did you know him back then? <laughs> so what? Yeah! He used to come visit my mom a lot. Oh shit, he it was like He studied psychology that. under her and would sometimes ask for advice on his legal cases. He was very kind to consider it as straight as an arrow. 
Kind of like now, where he's more twisted in a bucket of snakes. <laughs> That's why I took the witness stand during his trial seven years ago. Please, you have to listen to me. Jetina. He didn't kill her. His heart is screaming that he didn't kill her. I was a fool. How could anyone else know what I was talking about? <laughs> she heard the voice of his heart. <laughs> you were only eleven. You were only eleven then, right? You were very brave to give testimony. When I was Just eight, I re <laughs> never mind. <laughs> When I was eight, she did, did subway surfers. <laughs> Rose is right. You did the very best you could at the time. But nothing I said did any good. I was shaking and scared. I was a shaking and scared little girl, small and ineffectual. Even after I went to live with my relatives in Europe, I stayed closed up in my show. But you're different now. You're always so bright and cheerful! <laughs> Thanks. That's because one day I came to realize that I had to fight. I couldn't just give up. Oh, I exercised no. hard and studied hard. I wanted to become the strongest lawyer I could be. <laughs> I wanted to save Simon, but I had no idea how. And I met Mr. Wright, and thanks to him, I realized if I became a lawyer, I could prove that Simon was innocent. Also, I realized that psychology could help me do it. I mean, psychology was my mother's specialty when I studied it. I felt like she was there with me, supporting me. I refuse to believe Pearl is older than Jinxie. Doesn't seem like Athena knows. <laughs> My bad, I didn't, I didn't mean to. <laughs> that Rosie Blackwell is due to be executed tomorrow. Like, dead as fuck. I wanted to be. Dead as hell. Fuck, bro. I wanted to prove Simon's innocence personally. I wanted to do it so bad. Even now, I want to fly out of here and go save him. Come to think of it, she says something like that during the Demis, uh, legal academy trial. She mentioned there was somebody she wanted to save. Shout out to, shout out to me deleting the second part of that trial. <sighs> she must have been talking no, about no Prosecutor one, Blackwell. No one will ever know. I think you're just looking at Who the killer is? I heard some prison guards say you had an interview with Simon. How was he? What did he say? How did it go? Did he... <laughs> did he fart? No, I, I can't tell her. Can't do it. But how can I lie to Athena? Dude, I can't do it. I'm Just like this. I'm gonna throw it. Dude, I apologize <laughs> to you guys. Oh, my, my, my. I just don't know what happened. I, I swear. Oh, sorry. He was doing well. <laughs> he was happy about the possibility of being proven innocent. And then the Cyclops so showed up on Phoenix's eyes. Well, she doesn't have the Magatama, so she can't see it. No, I'm just anyway. He'll see it on himself. Yeah. I wonder if he smiled like he used to back then. If I can't prove Prosecutor Brack goes innocent in this trial. He's as dead as hell. I don't think Athena will ever forgive me. And then she'll be dead as hell. Failure is not an option in this biatch. They'll both be dead as hell. The hosses and will here be he dead comes. as hell. Ah, the jump scare. Ah, ah. <laughs> I thought you might be here, Mr. <laughs> Lawyer. We're in trouble. Well, the robots do this time. We are? What is it? I couldn't find a single open courtroom. They're all in session. Damn. This is an emergency! We gotta have a court now! Oh, yeah, I we exactly where to go. We better call up to Nate. Hmm. It's very difficult to interrupt the trial once it's underway. <laughs> Bruh, I just Start screaming. My phone? 
I don't know why I thought it was the Evangelion theme for a second. I told you I'd give you an hour. <laughs> That's four up. That's four up. Is, is it clock or or? Free, nigga. Yes, it's time to pick one of the hostages. Oh, pick me, pick me. No, wait. We still have a little more time. Besides, all the courtrooms are being used right now. Make all the excuses you want, but you won't get more time. Your daughter is first. <laughs> well, technically, she's not really my daughter. Poor thing. She's a little too young to die. Yeah, I just thought about child support. You know what I'm saying? Get thought. <laughs> no, don't you dare hurt her. There has to be something I can do. I mean, money's been a little bit tight. I mean, could use a little, a little bit of... <laughs> Your foolish injustice is about to befall us. How Aki. No, this can't be happening. Mystic Maya, help save us. Mystic Maya, if you can hear us, please, Mystic no Maya. Way. <laughs> Maya. Mystic Maya, please Wait, come. Maya? Channeling niggas? I read somewhere that you were holding a trial in the middle of an exploding courtroom. What the fuck? Let's use the exploding courtroom. That must have been really something. Although, the weirdest part for the courts with you. <laughs> yeah, she is omnipresent. Courtroom blew up. That's it. There is a courtroom we can use after all. Why did they just use the courtroom in the school? Could have brought, brought okay, it all for Okay, time's up. Uh, too bad. Any last words you'd like to say to her? Yeah, sure. Put her on the phone. Damn it. Let's say hold it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> or please don't add to the crimes you've already committed, dumb motherfucker. So you know who I am, do you? Wasn't like I was trying to keep it a secret anyway. I don't give a f We're ready to start the trial, nigga. <laughs> Kino. We can hold it in the ruins of courtroom number four. The one blown up by the bomber. Yep. Sounds cool, don't it? Get over here. Oh, what a wonderful idea, Mr. Nick. Peak I know, destiny. I know. What? I never would have thought of that. Oh, Naruto so bad. Like, oh, let's do our final battle in the Hidden Valley. <laughs> <laughs> an astonishing trial in an astonishing location. Better clean that shit up. These like his hairlines. Bro, is this uh, man? I guess it's only better uh, befitting. I go get the place ready right away. Like, I was going to comment on Apollo me. shit earlier, but I didn't exactly pick the place for its astonishing factor. How about it? Are you ready to have your brother's innocence proven? Puss ball. My brother. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to mention it's not Simon you'll be defending. Who, Athena? Um, not Basket Blackwell? The Fug? The Freak? I indict Athena Sykes on the charge of murdering her own mother. No, oh, okay. You'll be defending the little princess there, the one behind the glass. What? See you in that mountain of rubble you've chosen for our courtroom, Mr. Wright. What is she talking about, Athena? Of course. Why didn't why did it ever occur to me once before? If Prosecutor Blackwell is innocent, somebody else has to have been the true culprit. Did I... Did I really kill my own mother? Oh my god, oh, are you oh. Oh. Ah. Look at all them Cyclops. Oh, oh they're man, like a different color. The they're, not, they're not even ordinary ones. God damn it. The fuck? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's the matter? I can't see what you're seeing. Uh, <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when uh, Kristoff and Apollo Justice had these in the in the in the prison? Yeah, uh, yeah. they're back. No, uh, well, I do not. I see Cyclops. I see five black Cyclops. It was like Phoenix was questioning him before the final trial, and then like he had these black Cyclops, and Phoenix was like, "I can't even open these." 
Oh, bro. You can't open them whatsoever if they're black. I've seen these kinds of locks before. You know, um, considering what the details... Considering the details that are revealed about black psych locks in this game, what do you think the secret was that he was trying to keep? There really is Juneteenth, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to, I have to rewatch this case to answer that, cause I. Oh, oh, do you not remember? No. I do. I remember what they say about it here, and and it's why I'm curious about it. And there's no way to remove them. <laughs> See, that's uh... get a little bit of lube. Whoops. Let's slip the what? key. In. Just, you know, twist it. You gotta caress it. Make it's it. It's inside her soul. Get some WD. Key.